Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, my dear students, I welcome you all and to the introductory uh, lectures on psycholinguistics. Um, psycholinguistics, uh, you know, I, I have shared with you people the uh, initial supplementary readings and I hope that you must have made an idea of what psycholinguistic is. But anyhow, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll try to be as brief and as easy uh, actually on the terms of psycholinguistics. Uh, my initial lecture will be on the basic uh, definitions and its relevance to other fields. Uh, and then we'll try to move as um, per the topics, you know, there. Uh, I would like to uh, talk about it with psycholinguistics, you know, what in, in, in a nutshell and simple way, what does it actually mean? <laughs> you know, it tells you that what happens in our mind when we use language. Uh, but if you look at this term, I mean, psycholinguistics, I mean, psycho, the word has been derived from psychology and linguistic, and mean it, it, it means it's uh, language. So what does it mean that uh, initially, I mean, this, uh, this in psycho and, and psycho uh, or psychology, it was considered to be the study of human mind. So here we can, uh, I mean, establish a link between the human mind and actually the language. So it and short it tells us that what exactly happens in our mind when we use language, uh, or we can say uh, that uh, psycholinguistics. Uh, I mean, it, it it is actually the study about the psychological processing of language, right? What psychological processing takes place, you see, uh, of language in the human mind. Uh, and uh, we can also say that this is actually, this psycholinguistic is, is a part of cognitive science. In, and, in, and even we can also take some in, in, in input, you see, from neuroscience, informatics, and linguistics. So, um, Furthermore, uh, uh, let, 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 let's go ahead. Uh, why this is interesting and important? Why this, I mean, the psycholinguistic? And why does it relate to other fields, in, in fact? So you see that a human mind is a very complex phenomenon. It's, it's, it's a miracle. And uh, it, when, when we talk about its, uh, its relations to language, so it becomes very difficult to assess. But there have been some efforts in order to relate uh, language, you see, with the human mind. And the reason, I mean, uh, actually, uh, John Donne, uh, uh, who is one of the famous poets, you see, who says that no man is an island entire of itself. Every man is a piece of the continent, a part of the man. So here, I mean, in this particular context, it is said, that psycholinguistic itself might be needing the contributions of other fields as well. Uh, similar is, is, is the case with other fields of linguistics. They are concomitant, they are in, interdependent, they have to take help from one another. Similar is the case with psycholinguistic. And psycholinguistics, you know, uh, this basically, uh, 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 you know, belong to. Uh, the language and human mind, so that uh, uh, you know, its 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 study needs a high concentration from the part of, I mean, researchers, students, and teachers as well. Uh, why there are certain practical reasons for psycholinguistic studying? You know, um, for example, in educations, when uh, teach a learner language, for example, if you need to teach effectively a language to the students are to learn a language effectively you know you need the help of psycholinguistics because psycholinguistics enables you to know the reasons the ways uh, of learning and teaching language therefore in education we need it there right and in engineering uh, you 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 might be surprised to hear this and how do we need i mean uh, psycholinguistics in engineering yes you need it over there um uh, particularly when they're in computational linguistics, in neural linguistics, in artificial intelligence, you know, you need this field because 
and the scientists and the uh, you know the language engineer you know they need when they try to create certain machine which can process language the way humans do so they certainly needs i mean the help of psycholinguists because they know how actually language can be effectively uh, fit in and how can it be effectively learned and how can be uh, 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 could be effectively inserted actually in machines so therefore we need psycholinguists there and psycholinguistics helps i mean these um, engineer there some other uh, reasons might be there right now uh, just a, a simplest definitions i mean of it in order to take you there i mean uh, the study of the mental faculties involved in the perceptions and acquisition of language this is one type of approach to it for understanding rather are we can say the study of the relationships between linguistic behavior and psychological processes including the processes of language acquisitions right so um, psycholinguistics or psychology of language is the study of psychological and neurobiological factors neurobiological factors that enable humans to acquire use and understand language uh actually uh, if 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 you look at uh, if you look at uh, uh, these thing uh, the three primary processes investigated in psycholinguistic in short you can say that that three primary processes investigated in psycholinguistic number one language comprehension the first thing it studies is that how language is comprehended by others right uh, because uh, you see that language i mean the whole process of language involves uh, these three language comprehensions language productions and language acquisition so obviously so psycholinguistic stresses i mean upon these terms like for example how language is comprehended what are the factors what are the things that enables to comprehend i mean the language because uh, you see that language uh, uh, primarily is speech i mean there are certain uh, sequences of uh, waves you know which just go from the uh, you know from one human to another through waves so how these waves are made meaningful and how these waves are understood there so the first thing that psycholinguistic stresses is that language comprehension the second thing that is that how language is produced what are the articulator what inside happens i mean to produce language what is there is is there something in in in, in the human mind which processes is like a machine which uh, you know Uh, what kind of uh, production takes place there how the production takes place so psycholinguistics actually uh, answers i mean all re all uh, related questions like comprehension like uh, language production and then very important part which psycholinguistics talks on and stresses is language acquisition that how does language acquisition takes place you know so uh, uh and then uh, a little bit is 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 given to you about the the uh, terms that i just uh, talked on uh, uh see uh, language comprehensions uh, understanding what other people say and write is more complicated than it might it first appear so uh, th this is uh, this actually happens in language comprehension comprehending language involves a varieties of capacities skills processes knowledge and disposition that are used to derive meaning from spoken written and sign language uh and then we we also uh, talk about language production so uh, language actually language productions um uh, is the production of spoken or written language it describes all of the stages between having a concept and to linguistics for a uh, for language and then we have actually uh, language acquisitions um uh, language acquisitions uh just one strain of psycholinguistic which is all about how people learn to speak and mental processes involve right so these are actually um the major uh, area 
which uh, the psycholinguistic apart from many factors I mean uh, focus psycholinguistics basically is a branch of cognitive science cognitive what cognitions takes place there how I mean language is cognitively processed in our mind um, and obviously um, cognitive science uh, and and it's, uh, this is also actually the you know it also relates itself to psychology because human mind is there neuroscience and computer science anthropology and linguistics uh, this uh, particular um, I, I mean um, diagram shows that psycholinguistic you see in the center I mean is I just quote actually uh, John Dunn in fact that no man is actually uh, exists in isolation so similar is that no branch of knowledge exists in complete isolation and especially in human sciences or in social sciences or humanities so here you can look at the you know the central um, uh, part that the uh, psycholinguistic is playing psycholinguistic is actually involving itself you see in different fields here you can find that psycholinguistics is, is relating there itself with psychology it also related itself with linguistics because basically psycholinguistic itself is linguistics you know and anthropology because it you know it has to deal itself in a society among humans that how do humans and neuroscience that what exactly is involved inside their the mind and what does neuroscience uh, uh, exactly play its role and then you see that computer science so I mean uh, you see that psycholinguistic that is interrelated field to many and in cognitive science in, in, in its component parts you see that cognitive science is further divided into psychology because uh, all uh, all uh, you, you see all actually belongs to human uh, to mind and linguistics than uh, computer science philosophy neuroscience and other field so uh, in psychology you see there that experimental psychology and psycholinguistics is, is, is uh, uh, in experimental psychology uh, you, the, you you say there you you suppose if you say something and then you look that actually happening to somebody in a particular given context you know and then in linguistics linguistic we do have psycholinguistics and then we have a uh, computational linguistic as well uh, uh, psycholinguistic again then we see computer com in, in computer science we do have computer compu computational linguistics and artificial intelligence and many robots and many actually machine and many language programs have been inserted on the principle of actually psycholinguistics and cognitive sciences then we have philosophy epistemology is there and logic so uh, these all actually belong I mean to cognitive science which are related to psycholinguistics there neuroscience and all the fields you can uh, you, you can see there well, um, and and then uh, there are certain uh, uh, current directions for psycholinguistics. Psycholinguistic is increasingly viewed as a portion of interdisciplinary field of cognitive science, right? And shift of shift of the interest in syntax to other aspect of language discourse and uh, lexicon. So this the shift is very much there. In conclusion. But uh, be, uh, before conclusion, uh, let me uh, take you uh, here again to uh, a, a, another part, uh, another part of actually uh, the lecture, uh, which which is uh, which is very much here. Um, just before conclusion, uh, I, I I think this is the book. I mean, uh, I I'm I'm trying to quote something from the book which I have just. Um, a few minutes before share on the WhatsApp group and I'm going to share them on LMS as well in order to make them more easily accessible for you people so um, uh, here I, I, I quote actually from that book uh, for example then uh, in short you know just try to I mean put all these discussions here in psycholinguistic psycholinguistic what is it so we we can say uh, let me highlight it actually for, 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 for you, uh, for, for you people, 
uh, let me highlight it uh, uh, for you all uh, uh, when you are working on, on computer sometime actually it uh, I just highlighted it but I don't know what happened to it um, okay um, psycholinguistics explores the relationship between the human mind and language it treats the language user as an individual rather than a representative of society but an individual whose linguistic performance is determined by the strengths and limitations of the mental operators which we all share its agenda is to trace similar patterns of linguistic behavior across large group of individual speaker of a particular language or or of of or, or of all languages in this way we hope to gain insights into the way in which the configurations of the human mind shapes communication even though the process involved may be so well established that we are no longer aware of them in fact the notion that language is a product of the human mind give gives rise to two interconnected goals both the concerns of psycholinguistics number one to establish an understanding of the processes which underlie the system we call language we have been uh, I'll, I'll, I'll be talking later on um, I'll be quoting different scholar uh, about actually uh, the language the theories uh, are very much there to examine language is the product of the human mind in thus is evidence of the way in which human beings organize their thoughts and impose pattern upon their experiences uh, obviously just before conclusion I'll, I'll, I'll take you back there uh, I'm, I'm quoting something here from this book which I have shared with you people I have shared with you people the books four books in compulsory reading and two or three in supplementary reading please go through them do not waste your time I have searched uh, because it took me more than six uh, I, I have been sitting here since morning uh, for you people so I have searched these books for you people I am sure I have sure I mean the books there with you people so please do not I mean waste your time try to read them because the concepts you know it, which will uh, which will uh, come again and again during the lecture so if you read I mean those book before so it would be easier for you to understand what I'm saying so uh, psycholinguistics research basically falls into six major area some of which overlap like for example as I said uh, uh, previously there uh, on, 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 on the slides over there that's uh, language processing it, it basically falls uh, uh, into this area of psycholinguistic language processing what precisely goes on when we are listening speaking reading and writing what stages do we go through when we engage in these skills how do we manage to turn a grammatical structure into a piece of information so these all questions come under the category of language pro language processing and then we can also talk about language storage in access how is vocabulary stored in our mind how do we manage to find it when we need it when what form do grammar rules take so this actually uh, uh, this we also study uh, in, in the psycholinguistics and then we have comprehension theory how do we manage to bring word knowledge to bear upon a new information that is presented to us how do we manage to construct a global meaning representation from words that we hear or read and language in the brain what neurological activity corresponding to reading or listening where does the brain store linguistic knowledge and semantic concept what neurological and muscular activity is involved and in speech can differences in human brain account for the fact that our species has developed language and language in exceptional uh, uh, circumstances why do 
uh, why do we, some infants grow up with language uh, impairments such as dyslexia are stuttering are stuttering are stuttering or we can also call this term stammering how does brain damage or age affect language what is the effect of of profound deafness upon language acquisitions right so um, uh, you, you see uh, th these are uh, most of uh, the things uh, you, you see there and again I'm, I'm, I'm actually uh, trying to highlight actually uh, uh, this this last point here the rest you can you can use this books and other books I have shared because they are very very important for you people uh, because if you start your self reading this would give you a great understanding and first language acquisition how do infants come to acquire their first language what stages do they go through and developing syntax vocabulary and phonology what evidence is there that we possess in in a nat faculty for language which enables us to acquire our first language despite the supposedly poor quality of the input and uh, uh, input we receive well um, these are actually I'm, I'm trying to take you initially and slowly I mean to the concept that we will be com coming across again and again you see during the course of uh, this um, um, uh, particular subject psycholinguistic so I hope that you are going to uh, be familiarized soon you see with this commonly uh, occurring concept so what in, 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 in short I may repeat you know that language processing language storage and accesses comprehension theory um, comprehension theory uh, language in the brain uh, a language in exceptional uh, circumstances and first language acquisitions uh, mostly psycholinguistics revolve around these uh, uh, you know uh, revolve around uh, these actually um, concept so in conclusion let, I'm, I'm taking you back actually to the uh, slides here in conclusion we can say that psycholinguistic is an area of study which draws from linguistics and psychology and focuses upon the comprehensions and production of language so um, uh, some uh, before uh, before I switch actually uh, I, I switch it off uh, there are final facts you know which, which are being shared here um, 600 and uh, 900 sorry 6912 known living languages in the world uh, there is difference of opinion actually on the number of languages but most of the languages you know they agree uh, the, the number of languages in the world between 6000 and 7000 but exactly um, I mean the number is uh, is 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 is, uh, is to be differ you see with uh, the, the exact number of speaker well um, you see here um, it lake in 96,190 words in English is a correct of yesterday so uh, these the, the, there are cert certain words over there in English right and Mandarin uh, which is uh, in terms of speaker is the longest is, is the biggest language in the world right it is it, it has got uh, almost uh, I think uh, one Arab and seven crore and 50 lakes speaker uh, the difference uh, between Mandarin to be is a lingua franca in English as to be a lingua franca is that the Mandarin is actually only specifically there in the Chinese continent while English that has become a global village it has spread into the world in fact so therefore we cannot say English Mandarin is a global language while we can say English to be a global language right and here out of English you can find that most popular word is okay right um, all right uh, finally uh, Goethe uh, says that when ideas fail words come in very handy so this was something initial initially uh, on the concept of linguistic and in this particular uh, series I'm going to upload actually uh, some other in, uh, introductory 
of lectures and, and the concept of linguistics and after that I'll, I'll, I'll try to be uh, uh, quoting actually from the books which I have shared with you people uh, there is uh, a book there uh, I have sent you people through WhatsApp that uh, the key concepts in psycholinguistics is there so you must go through that book because that is extremely necessary for you people if you are aware of the concept if you know the concept if you understand actually the key concepts in psycholinguistics so then our discussions will become more meaningful so uh, this you know topic is uh, uh, this subject is is technical and a little bit fuzzy you know so therefore i need your help I need your uh, readings. I have shared everything. I am very much uh, uh, caring for you people. That's why I have shared with you people the books. And I am recording this. And I am going to place actually this recording. It takes a huge time, believe me. Because when I upload, I mean, this mm -hmm. lecture on YouTube. So it really takes great. And this was actually initially uh, the lecture uh, which was given actually. Uh, I uh, made some changes in it to... Uh, the person who actually gave Tariq Khan uh, from uh, Eastern University, Sri Lanka. So I think this is enough for today and I hope that you will not let me down, you will not disappoint me, but you will, uh, I have given you an assignment uh, that you have to come up with the possible topics that come in your mind regarding such. So I mean these reading and these lecture are helping you now to come up and to coin some new ideas about psycholinguistics. So thank you very much. I hope that you must be um, uh, happy and you must be well. So I, I pray God to keep you all safe during this, um, uh, I mean, uh, corona pandemic. Thank you very much.